Hey guys, guess what game we're playing today? Go on, guess. That's right, everyone's favorite completely accurate historical simulator 2013. God, I feel old. Also, did you know that I stream on Twitch? Well, if you're one of these people, maybe. But recently I've made the stream schedule better, so if you want to go check that out, there's a very good chance that I'm actually streaming right now. Almost like I've planned this or something. Hmm. Now, within Germany, there are seven formable tags. However, I will only be doing five of them. Swabia, Bavaria, Franconia, Hanover, and Westphalia. I previously did Pomerania in a different mini speed forming video, if you want to go check that out. And I plan to use Brandenburg for a different video. So let's start off with Bavaria. Now Bavaria is one of the fastest formables in the game, but it's uh, not exactly the easiest. A lot of the time these guys tend to end up allying up with Austria or Hungary, which is obviously quite a bit annoying. So let's try and be fast. Here are the estates. This was mainly just so I could take a little bit of extra money. We'll hire a mill advisor for land force limit and let's focus on military. Let's rival up with both of these guys and we will go ahead and rail marry up with Austria. And here's the hoping we get a couple of good generals, which yes, it looks like we did. Nice. Let's go to force limit and let's get started. And with this event, it's time to begin our wars. So let's start with Ingolstadt. And without wasting any time, let's go after Munich. There's one siege. And there's siege number two. And now, we wait. Actually, I can just end this war right now. And there we have union number two. Okay, now that we have both of our unions, we can form Bavaria. Out of my many quick test runs, this was definitely the luckiest one of all of them. Previously, I had at least one or the two ally up with Austria or Hungary, so we had to royal marry with Austria to fill up one of their slots and try to make that less likely to happen. So, don't expect anything nearly this easy in your games, because, uh... <laughs> Most of the time, it does not turn out this well. Well, that's nation number one, so let's move on to number two. The formation requirements for Hanover obviously require admin tech 10, but if you remember my Ireland video, I'm simply going to be ignoring all the admin tech requirements because I think they're a bit arbitrary in most cases. That being said, all we have to do is own Lundberg, have eight Lower Saxon provinces, and triple our total development. This may take a little longer than expected. But of course, let's start with the estates. And we'll grab a little bit of extra money. And let's get a bigger army. We'll pick up a mill advisor and focus in the mill. And let's get started. Alright, after building this claim for so long, we can finally go to war. And we're just gonna use Brandenburg real quick. Well, there goes the capital. And there goes Saxony's capital. So let's ask for a bit of money in war reps. And just before Brandenburg occupies this, instead of myself, I'm just going to go ahead and take that real quick. Thank you. Man, these HRE speed forms are uh, a little boring, not going to lie. And now that those are both cored up, we can just grab a couple of extra claims here. And now we have plenty to work with. So why don't we get started? And rip. Oh, looks like the AI is making some big brain plays here. Too bad my brain is bigger. Also, we could just take tech 4. That works. Well, there goes the Burgundian inheritance. For a second there, they were actually allied up with Ferdin, which was uh, a little weird, actually. I guess in the end, it doesn't really matter all too much, because once we're done with this war, we're going to be done with this run. There's fort number one, so let's move on to Volgast. And there's fort number two. Whoa, okay. Uh, <laughs> Austria made an interesting decision here. Well, that's pretty rare. I don't often see this. Anyway, there goes Liège. And we can annex you. And we can annex you. Risky as it may be. Now let's go ahead and re-ally up with Brandenburg, who for some reason likes me again. The coalition's starting to actually grow just a little bit, so we're gonna grab a couple of allies real quick. Just because you can never be too safe. So now that we've conquered all the provinces we need, we just need a little bit more development. Unfortunately, that's actually quite a lot. Well, fortunately, we might be very close to being able to grab it anyway. If I throw in a little bit of encouraged development, it's possible we could just dev the darn thing, I guess. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Well, we're kind of close, at least. Okay, I'm about to take out a bunch of loans and uh, hire a couple of better skill advisors just to make this go a little bit faster if I can. So now we have everything we need in order to form Hanover, except the admin tech, obviously. Just, uh, you know, don't worry about the uh, path it took to get here. That's that's perfectly normal. Well, all right, that's number two. Let's move on to number three. Whoa, accidentally uh, didn't record the screen there for a second. Right, we just got started. We're doing some Nuremberg into Franconia because we're a free city, and if I 
didn't start as a free city, we'd have to conquer a free city, and I really can't be bothered to do that. Well, it's either that or fight Saxony, and uh, neither are very good options. Anyway, here are the estates set up as per usual. Now, I don't know what I was expecting, but uh, it definitely didn't involve Brandenburg in this. Eh, well. And rip. Ah, well that wasn't so bad. Thank you. And rip. <sighs> That's finally over with. This probably won't be a problem, right? See, no one even cares. Yoink. Alright, we're off to a good start, but uh, that doesn't mean we can exactly stop. And we can get Saxony out. We can pick up the next tech. And once again, we wait. Oh, no, oh, did we actually siege something? Oh, geez, okay. Alright, yeah, that's cool. And yoink. Now, we actually are pretty close, uh, we're just living a little dangerously, so... Might take a few years to make sure we don't immediately get killed after. After all, I do have to core everything. Hey, free claims. Kind of forgot about that whole thing, actually. Well, works for me. Well, I might die doing this, but... Leave a like if I don't, I don't know. There we go, that's cored up, and uh... Nope, hold on a second. Gotta dev a little bit real quick. And there we go. Franconia in just about 12 years. Don't know why you'd want to play Franconia, but there it is, I guess. Let's move on to number four. This is actually my second time trying this. The first time, uh... Oh no, didn't go so well. Well, hopefully this goes better. Let's build the force limit, focus mill, and let's get started. Well, this should be easy. There goes fort number one and fort number two. We can get mines out, and I'll be taking a quick humiliate if you don't mind. Just not too long of a peace deal. And yoink. All right, off to a good start. Let's just not forget to swap this over and this one as well. Speaking of, can't forget to grab this advisor as well. And we're off to war again. Oof. Let's collect some prestige here. Now, there's a sort of slight problem with this here. Might have to wait a couple of years, maybe. Ah, there we go. And popping this mission will allow me to reduce my AE just a little bit faster, which is great and all, but uh, I don't actually know what to do now. Well, houses in a trade league. I have a truce with Augsburg. These two are free cities. This guy's in a personal union under someone who's allied with both Aragon and Austria somehow. And I still need five more provinces. Well, I guess Strasbourg it is. All right, here we go. Let me just harvest some prestige off of you. And finally, we get to stack wipe the Pope. Well, if there's one good thing about this war, it's that it took so long that nobody even cares anymore. You know what? I'll take it. Also, the Renaissance just dropped and that's cool and stuff. So let's, uh, I guess dev that up a little bit. Damn, is Austria really losing to Bohemia? Uh, that's kind of cringe. Well, it sucks to be those guys. Also, I definitely can't afford this. Well, no clue how I managed this, but we can ally up with France. I hope everyone's forgotten about my list of war crimes because I'm about to expand the Wikipedia page. Yep, I'm gonna milk that for some money and prestige. And it's probably a good idea to improve a couple of relations real quick. Yeah, that works for me. Ah, uh, yes, time for the first age ability. I think it's pretty clear which one we're going with this time. So somehow I've ended up in the scenario where I can take an idea group. And it's a bit of a weird pick usually, but espionage will give me just a little bit less aggressive expansion. Now, we haven't really decayed enough AE to justify a war right now, but eh, oh well. And yoink. Well, now what? I can't attack these guys for obvious reasons. Austria's a definite nope. Maybe the free cities? Yeah, sure, why not? Did someone just become a free city, hmm? Well, isn't that wonderful? <sighs> just gonna pretend that's not there for now. Yeah, I'm sure this totally won't cause any problems. Well, turns out Austria's actually chill with me. Also, the golden air is ready, so we may as well. Well, I have a kind of plan, and this is the weirdest way I'm going to ever end up using this age ability. But we can go ahead and fabricate a claim right here. Then I can pick up this age ability, fabricate a claim right here. And yeah, you can probably guess where I'm going with this. Or maybe I just never mentioned that Mulhouse is actually allied up with Salzburg. So this is probably the only way I'm going to be able to get this done. Ah, uh, finally. All right, let's get the hell out of this. You know, at this point, this is just a regular Ulm game. I don't even know if I can call this a speed forming anymore. Maybe almost becoming the 8th greatest power is a sign that, uh, 
I took a little bit too long, but after trying this for the second time, you would not catch me dead doing it a third. 38 years, take it or leave it. And if you thought Swambi was bad, haha, <laughs> yeah, this'll be fun. Well, the first thing to do is obviously to attack Berg, and of course we'll deal with the estates. Thank you very much. And right off the bat, we can ally up with Austria, which is always a good thing. And let's begin. Yeah, Foreign Noble sounds fine. Well, I was wrong. Don't mind me, just gonna... Right, anyway. And rip. Well, that wasn't so bad. Money, war reps, and prestige sounds good to me. And yoink. So, connecting up my land completes this mission, which gives me a bunch of free claims. And now seems as good a time as any to use them. Well, that's one guy down. And this should be easy. Yeah, I might have to hire a free company real quick. Well, that certainly took a long time. Speaking of things that will take a long time... Hmm... Looks like I'm gonna have to shuffle through a couple of advisors real quick. Alright, we can take out a few loans for that. There we go. Yeah, we might have to sit here for like another five years maybe. Well, it's a little risky, but it's probably the best we're gonna get. Yeah, I'm sure this will be fine. Anyway. You know, relatively speaking, I think we're gonna end up fine. Unless Austria wants me dead, then maybe not. Just barely might be able to clutch this real quick. There we go. Well, looks like we're gonna need a few more mercs. Again. And rip. Well, that'll be one guy. There we go. See, look at that. Everything's just fine. Except for, uh... Maybe this. Yeah, okay, it's looking a lot better. Now, you might be wondering how I have most of the AHRE within the coalition range and yet no one's joining for some reason. Well, all you have to do really is just improve relations with everyone, and it just works out. That's also how I managed to pull off the Swabia run. If no one hates you, they can't join a coalition against you, so, eh, it works. And it doesn't hurt to also have Austria on your side. Hmm, would you look at that? Just one province left. Suppose that means we should get started. And yoink. Okay, that's the last province. I'll see you guys when that's scored up. And with that last core, we've gone ahead and filled up every requirement for forming Vestphalia. Unfortunately, the admin tech requirement's still there, and I can't really do anything about that. But I consider this nation formed. Kind of. Took about 27 years, which all things considered I think is pretty good. At least, not as bad as I thought it would be. Well, there you have every minor German formable formed as fast as I can. I think the only one I definitely could have done better on was Swambia. That took a little too long for my liking. But given all the AE restraints within the HRE, I think we did pretty well. If you enjoyed the video, it would be a massive help if you went ahead and dropped the like. And if you want to see more speed forming in the future, like maybe the Germany one, then you can subscribe and hit the bell icon to make sure you don't miss them. For now, this is Corbett signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day. Big thank you to all the wonderful people up on screen, including Ben Greenhagen, Quiet Guy, Torvald, Bouncer Steve, Sean, Robert Kaleno, Snow Raven, Chewy Shoot, and The Watcher. Patrons get early access to videos, so if you'd also like that, then the link to the Patreon is in the description below. And if you're looking for something else to watch, then I recommend these videos up on screen.